see on the screen is Joe Blackson. He's a 38 year old young man who died in Nigeria in August 2019 after he rescued um, about 13 persons who were involved in a boat accident. And upon trying to rescue the 14 person, Joe Blackson drowned in a river in River State and he will eventually died. Um, this there is another side to the or another angle to this story because his wife Miss Blankson has come out to reveal something very sensitive and so touching a story after Miss Blankson said that um, her husband's body Joe Blankson's body was not buried as a result of traditions and customs of her people in River State but then guys do you still record Joe Blankson let me refresh your memory a little bit Joe Blankson had always been a strong swimmer so when his boat was in an accident and capsized, he didn't think twice but jumped into the water to help rescue those who had fallen overboard. Single handedly, according to a story by CNN, Blankson managed to pull 13 people out of the river. The father of two eventually became exhausted as he went in and out of the river, rescuing one person after the other. While trying to save the 14 person, Blankson tragically drowned. And, um, that is the story of Joe Blankson. I'm going to bring you a video where his wife uh, actually spoke about the husband not being the husband body not being buried, and she says it's a tragic one for her because she wouldn't know what to say to her kids when they eventually grow up. Aside that, also, um, guys, um, another touching part of this story is the fact that Joe Blankson's wife, Mercy Blankson, has also come out to say that she's jobless and in need of a job. In a country where things, uh, where a uh, sinner climbs, someone like Joe Blankson is supposed to be celebrated. His family is supposed to be taken care of, particularly by the government. Died. The River State gov Governor invited us to his house. I appreciate him for that warm welcome, and he promised to support the children's education with some amount of money and he promised to help me to a job. He also supported the family with some money for burial. In terms of the promises and stuff, people made me to understand that it's just a promise, it's not like it's your right. I want him to immortalize my late husband. I think some traditions need to be abolished. Like, he, he died in the water, you know. You didn't see him that it's like the third day. And you know, tradition now, you, we don't bury someone that died in the, in the water. water. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. so he was just dumped some year and You're kidding no me. Way. And um I didn't get to see him. Oh so now if my kids should grow up you and know you know That's so wrong. I don't like take them to where the bury their dad. And I just point somewhere and say, Oh, I think it's that was oh, or no. somewhere. Oh. At least they would have just I know it's like Waved it's, it. It's not possible, though it's still possible because yeah. I've heard of people that died in that same water. One was an ambassador, that was his late uncle. But they did a state burial for him. Mm -hmm. Is it because Joe Blankson was not an ambassador or, you know, maybe he was just a, I wouldn't want to use the word, a common man. But 